Millie Weaver reporting for Infowars.com. We are here in Ambridge, Pennsylvania at a Donald Trump rally. Donald Trump just had the second presidential debate yesterday with Hillary Clinton and he totally destroyed Hillary and her lies. Let's go ahead and ask some of these Trump trainers what they thought about the debate. I think Donald Trump won the second debate. I liked it. I thought it had more substance than the last one. So Donald Trump did well. I think he's going to get her in a third, too. I like what Donald Trump said about Abraham Lincoln. Like, she really tried to compare herself to him. Come on, Hillary. She needs to be in jail. We all know this. I think he destroyed Hillary. I thought, I've seen uh, some still pictures of uh, Bill Clinton there because of the uh, people that he raped. And uh, it was just it was just amazing. I think that um, he pulled some people in that were undecided. I've seen the Fox News thing. And uh, most of the people raised their hand that were undecided and decided to vote for Trump. Tell me, tonight, who was the most impactful candidate? Who says Clinton? Who says Trump? Wow. Explain to me why Trump. He has a plan for America that Hillary doesn't. Hillary has no plans at all. Mr. Trump will lead this country in the right direction. Trump mopped the floor with Hillary. It was, it was a complete and utter knockout. Amazingly, he turned himself around and he's back on message. I think he's good to go. I think he really, really put a lot of truth out there against a lot of the lies Hillary's producing. It was a matter of uh, Donald Trump making his points and uh, I don't think Hillary made too many herself. He definitely 100% brought out all the talking points that I think Americans wanted to see, and he's a true patriot. He won uh, hands down. What was your favorite part? I honestly think the best was the last question when Hillary Clinton couldn't even name one good trait about him, but he found something to say good about her. I will say this about Hillary. She doesn't quit. She doesn't give up. Trump was, um, you know, he owned his own actions, he owned his own words. So I'm glad he didn't try to deny it and say, you know, well, I was stupid a few times. I think he was glad that he said, you know, I've said things, I've made mistakes, but I'm, I am who I am. I'm an honest, genuine human candidate, unlike Hillary, you know. When he told her that he would put her in jail and he appoint a special prosecutor um, if, he, if he gets into the White House. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah, because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. I like when the fly landed on her face. He gets to run his campaign any way he chooses. Trump kicked butt, definitely. I think he held back too. I mean, he, he really could have laid into her. And what I think uh, Hillary should have done was apologize to the women that were sitting in the audience that uh, Bill had assaulted. That's what I think. Hi! So, who do you think won the debate? Trump, all the way. <laughs> what was your favorite part? The part where he said, you belong in jail. Wow, so this is an unbelievable turnout. I mean, this line just keeps going and going and going. And the stadium is already completely full. They've already closed the doors for people. But they're filling up around the parking lot now where there is an outside big TV screen for them to watch the speech from. But this is amazing. I mean, I can't believe in the small town of Ambridge, Pennsylvania, how many people turned out for Trump today. This is pretty awesome to see. We also have seen some protesters right across the street. So let's go ahead and, and see if we can talk to them and find out what their issue is. A vote for Trump is a vote against America. I'm protesting against Trump because this is my high school. My high school is a place of diverse races, religions, cultures, just like America. And I don't want this hateful man here. I'm protesting Trump because I don't want a fascist for president. Well, I think he's a fascist. That's pretty obvious. The things he's advocated are frightening. He uh, urges his supporters to attack uh, Hillary's supporters. My wife's a big mental health uh, advocate here. Hi. I do a lot of motivational speaking. It was our idea to come up here and just ask some real questions instead of hate on hate. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Ask some real questions. So do you think that all these people out here protesting should get help? 
I don't think that they should get help, and I don't think that they're mentally ill. I think that we should ask some legitimate questions. Who do you think won the debates? Hillary, hands down. Why? He didn't answer questions. He rambled. He stalked her. He made faces. I think that's about it. Hillary. I noticed you have a sign here that says misogyny isn't presidential. What do you think about Bill Clinton, who is a rapist? I think that's past history, and the American public have dealt with that. We're focusing on the future right now. So it doesn't matter that he raped women? That's We could just put that in the past? Well, that's something that's been on the public on public display for a number of years now. We are talking about the future now. And someone who would say the kinds of things that Trump said on that bus, I don't think the public's ever going to forget that. Hi. I don't really want to talk to him for wars. Young Turks. I have been to Hillary's events, yep. and I've seen that she has a very hard time drawing a crowd. I'm blown away because the mainstream media won't show you this stuff. You guys and Alex Jones, you show this stuff, and I sincerely appreciate that because this is the truth. I love you, Alex Jones. I'm a big fan. Keep telling the truth, buddy. I just want to know, where can I buy my Alex Jones water filter? So I've seen a, I've seen that store, and I need to filter my water to make sure I don't go crazy from all the you know, fluoride in the water. You can buy it at the Infowars.com store. All right, that, that would be absolutely perfect.